Was he? I mean, no offence. He went to a desert and exploded to death. That's basically his entire career trajectory. Given that the overwhelming majority of our soldiers are alive right now, statistically speaking, he's one of the worst we've ever had. If I could go back in time, I'd fire him. Ugh, calling these grieving relatives of dead soldiers is hard. I just wanted to offer my condolences for the death of your... Husband, our son, husband, our son, husband, our son... Husband? Thank you, Mr. President. My husband was a huge fan of Ooh. yours. Well, if I'd fired him, he'd still be alive, wouldn't he? I could have saved him, but no, we had to go out there and bumble into some bombs. Well, he's pissed on his chips there, love. Well, if it will help put things right, I would like to offer your family $25,000. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I'll just have my aide wire it to you now. I'm sure this must be sad for people who knew him. Unless he was, like, a paedophile or something. I don't know. I never met him. He might have been a total shit. And if so, you have my sympathy for that too. What's that face for? I think like I said military widows can suck my dick or something. Hello? Mm -hmm. uh, I really do appreciate yeah. you taking the time to call, Mr. President. Yes. Yes. This really does mean so much to me. Well, see ya. I thought that one went well. Say, he's looking down on you. Take care of yourself. Are you sure about this? I just want to say, we're all looking down on you. Take care of yourself. That's what I said! And on behalf of the US government, I just want to say... Fuck it. He knew what he signed up for. What do you mean? How could I possibly come across more sympathetic? He's dead! He's dead and he's never coming back! He was blown to bits and it was disgusting! You'll never see him again! You're going to die alone! Ah! Oh, now I'm too sympathetic. Well, thank you for taking the time to call. I know that our son would have appreciated it. So was there anything else you wanted to say? Hello? Mr. President? Hello? Are you there? Hello? <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I was just seeing how long I could hold my breath. This is so boring! <laughs> I just wanted to offer my condolences for the death of your husband. Ooh, what's his face? Mm. Said, you're taking the yeah. time to call. Pfft, you're overreacting. Just because I said what's his face doesn't mean I don't know his name. Okay then, what was his name? Sorry? What was his name? His name his name was what what was his name? His name His name was Doctor Uh Um Pepper. His name was Dr. Pepper. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm. Hello? Mr. President, hello? Yeah. hello? Well, actually, Dr. Pepper was the pet name that all of his closest friends knew him by, so I guess the two of you just weren't that close. Oh, my beloved husband. Trust me, Mrs. Train, I would give everything I own, and I own a lot, if it would just bring your son back. Well, it's funny you should say that, because we were hoping on having him cryogenically preserved, and we've been trying to raise the funds for some liquid nitrogen. Oh, it's nice speaking to you. Bye. But he loved that you took the time to call about it. He hated his dad. He really loved being alive, you know. He hated to die. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hello? I would like to offer my deepest condolences for the death of your son. Oh, well, actually, it was my husband. You married your son? No! You I... twisted bitch! I I just know that he's up there now, looking down on us all. And he's very proud of you. Uh, well, thank you, but actually, we were both atheists. Oh, right. Well, in that case, he must be... Looking up at you from the burning pits of hell. Why is she not answering? I'm the fucking president. Hello. Yeah. 
Just kidding. Actually, I'm the president. I just wanted to give my condolences for the death of your son. Um, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Send a drone to her house in seven days. I just wanted to offer my condolences Sorry. for the death what, of what, your... What are you saying? I'm sorry, I've got an ulster. Uh, Mr. President? Hello? Are you still there? Cassidy, I am so fucking bored. Yes, fatal head injury is very disappointing. I can't take another second of this. I'm so bored, I'm about ready to blow my fucking face off. Yes, it must be hard for you, Mrs. Cassidy. Oh shit, I got confused and said that to Mrs. Cassidy instead. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here, Mrs. Cannister. Just give me a minute. President, it does mm. mean a lot. I appreciate yeah. yeah, yeah, well, you take care of yourself, I, won't I, you? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, goodbye. Oof. Thank God that's over. Pardon. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh no, not my assassin. <laughs> to death with his powerful arms and legs, but not before succumbing to his wounds and dying. And to make matters worse, the lying media can't be trusted to report it. What a shame that he'll never be able to finish these phone calls that he was enjoying so much anyway, bye! <sighs> they don't half bang on. 